Have you got a piece of content that's really doing well and you want to get it to a wider audience? Well, the content remix tool may be the answer to that. HubSpot just released a brand new content hub and inside of that content hub, there is a new feature called content remix. Now this remix tool is designed to help you get your piece of content that may be one blog post or perhaps it happens to be something of a guide and you can actually then use these AI tools to bring it into multiple formats to get a head start on getting that content more life. Let's dive in and take a look at the tool and how to put it to use for your organization. So here inside of the content remix, again, you only get this if you have the new content hub or what's called Marketing Plus. So if you happen to be on the old Marketing Pro from HubSpot, you wanna have access to this, you will need to get the new Content Hub. So the Content Hub's gonna be over here on the left, and as you expand this, you'll see that there's a lot of things in here now. So you'll also notice that landing pages and blog move from a Marketing tab, now they happen to live here in this content. So the remix that we're looking at is right here. So if this isn't turned on, in your portal and you do have Content Hub, you might need to make sure that uh, your beta is turned on as well. But if you just got Content Hub, you should have it. So here in this screen, you'll see that you can start remixing from scratch, which we'll do here in a second, or you can see the four use cases that HubSpot has presented to us here. So what this does is this takes one piece of content that we've already got published, and we're gonna start today with a blog post and show you how this works. But you can either get to a wider audience, drive conversions, uh, brainstorm more blog post ideas or expand your content footprint. For most of the use cases that I've talked with clients about, the expanding and getting more people to either know about your post or uh, hear about it on social are going to be the use cases. So let me just show you what each one of these look like. So when we click into expand your footprint, what you'll see is it gives us a template of the different types of additional content that it suggests based on the goal, which is expanding your content footprint. So these little boxes here, we might call these like little uh, snippets or things you wanna repurpose into. HubSpot calls these attributes. So if I click on show attributes, what it will show me is it shows me additional, like each one of these things, you'll notice landing page, landing page. It says, add any additional content here if you want that to have, let's say a specific direction that you want the AI to use when it's generating that. So in this case, we've got all these different pieces. You do need to have your account set up. So if you don't have your social linked to HubSpot, you'll need to do that before you can use these content remixing tools. So we're gonna close this and we're gonna click on add content. And I'm going to select again, based on a blog post that we already have about mastering the key acronyms every HubSpot user should know. So once I add that piece of content, then these email, then these attributes, again, these smaller boxes, present themselves on the left and I can add additional instruction or I can just click generate content and see what I get. So let's go ahead and do that. So what will happen is it's going to take some time to generate each specific one. So while that's working, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to a previous example and show you ultimately what the end result looks like. All right, so let's go into one here and we actually did this for a different goal, but you can see this, the, um, the outcome is similar. So you'll see here up at the top, we've got this blog post Actually, this is a, you know, the one that's already been written. And then in this particular formula, which was the drive conversions template, um, we're looking at a blog post. So it wrote a new version of this blog post with a little bit different direction. And so you'll notice that you'll, that that's all here. Um, you'll see that it wrote a social post for us and it didn't include the link. So I have to go back and make sure I include the link when that gets published. Um, I go I went ahead and wrote an email. Key thing I've learned in using a lot of AI tools is email formatting, sometimes not there. In this case, this does need some work. So just like everything inside of this content remix, you would actually save and then edit it over in that area of HubSpot. So this content remix tool is designed to help you identify and kind of get halfway down the field with your additional content repurposing. And then you go over to the social area, the email area, the landing pages, and finish it out and publish from there. So ideally it's designed to help you save time by getting it again, halfway down the field, maybe a little bit farther, and then you'll take it to the finish line. So drive conversions may be designed to get more folks to actually opt into something, expanding your content footprint. There's gonna be various aspects here. You use the ones that make the most sense to you. The one that's the biggest difference here, I think is this brainstorming blog post ideas. So if I wanted to use this and actually bring in a piece of content I already have, I could say, you know what? I've already got this key acronyms one. Let's go ahead and create a different blog post that I could use to link back to this original one. 
So we've got three blog posts here. We could actually then say, um, go deep into the CTA acronym and what a user needs to know. So if you wanted to go through each one of these and you could actually give the AI additional direction that it might need, then I'd click generate content. Again, it's going to generate some blog post ideas for me. Key thing I've learned again in using this is don't change anything while it is processing, or you may risk actually losing some of the data that's being generated in the background. So let's give this a couple of seconds here. All right, so the AI is now finished writing those blog post drafts. And what we're gonna see here is that we've got this first one where we gave it much more specific direction on what acronym to write about from that original post. We got a much better rendition of a blog post. Again, I would not roll with this as is. There's still a lot of polish. Every good blog article today, especially with AI, needs examples, needs subject matter expertise inserted into that, and to make sure it links to business objectives. So, but we've got, you know, CTAs is gonna be the very specific thing to use here. Now this one, since we didn't give it a very specific direction, it just kind of like took the original blog post and sort of like regurgitated it. So what we don't wanna do here is, is probably lead with this because it's too close to the content before, not enough differentiation, and then in the same sort of thing here, like, the intros to all of these sound very similar. So we've got navigating, navigating, and the ever evolving. Not really good intros in my opinion. Um, I would definitely give the AI some more direction. But that is how to use the content remix tool to suggest some additional topics and create some drafts based on content that's already performing well in your HubSpot. So real quick, back on the dashboard here, anything you've remixed is actually saved down here at the bottom. So make sure you're renaming those so that you can actually go in and use them. And then once you do have those specific pieces generated, when you open them up here in the right hand side, you can go into save and edit an app, whether it's the blog post, whether it's the ad, whether it's the social, it will open it up in that area in HubSpot where you can actually then make edits and either publish or schedule or link to another asset and you're on your way. So that's it, that's Content Remix. That's part of the new HubSpot Content Hub, and it's available if you happen to have purchased it now or with Marketing Plus. And if you wanna get in, give it a spin, let me know what you think. Again, probably the best use case for something that you've already written that's doing well, and you wanna put it into more formats. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next week.